Hi, good morning. This is Harvey Althaus, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I have been requested numerous times now to post some more of my own personal ghost stories. And I couldn't think of a better place uh, to share one of my very first ghost experiences here. You know, not this graveyard, but in a graveyard back in the Midwest. I just thought this would be a very appropriate setting. Besides, today would have been my friend Gary Patzelt's 33rd birthday. Right here is his gravestone. And I just wanted to come here to honor him. Happy birthday, Gary. Truly miss you. Always will. Love you. Uh, this story takes place approximately, if I have to put an actual time frame on it, would probably be about 1978. Uh, the location was Littleton, Iowa, in the local cemetery. Uh, the time, it was approximately 10, 30, 11, 30 at night. It was a hot summer evening. I couldn't think of anything better to do. So to get out of a very hot uh, farmhouse, I took a stroll down to the uh, cemetery. Uh, at that time, it was my first, very first attempts into capturing anything from the paranormal. I had two things. I had a flashlight. I had an old Casio tape, uh, you know, cassette tape recorder. Uh, in the little local cemetery, there was a couple of above, you know, above ground, uh, what do you call them, mausoleums. So I went to one that has always captured my attention. And it happened to be from the 1850s. I think it was one of the original people who founded Littleton. But anyways, um, I had read books and saw a couple of movies. Um, and one was uh, about this group of kids in a college that went to an old haunted house with Vincent Price, you know, and they had, uh, you know, to look for ghosts. And one of the equipment they had was a tape recorder. So I turned the tape recorder on, introduced myself, and put it on top of the mausoleum, and I walked away. And the next morning I came back, and... Uh, when I played it back as I was walking home, I heard a lot of night sounds, you know, typical in the Midwest for, um, you know, for the, for the summer. And, you know, you hear crickets, you hear other bugs flashing by, you hear cars passing because it wasn't too far off the main road that go, went through my little town. But I was about halfway home, which is about a mile away, when I heard it or something. I kind of stopped in my tracks and I rewound the tape recorder, but I was shaking. And I thought it was just my mind playing tricks. And I played it back again to that point. And it said, quote, what is that? This is in a male's voice. And then in a female's voice, you hear, I don't know. That's all I captured that night, but I'm telling you, for being in a rural area, I was the only living soul at the time in that cemetery. Nobody went to the cemetery at night except me. I have a male voice, yes, but I don't have a female voice. Uh, I don't have any idea at what time that that occurred, but I do remember that the tape, it was a two-hour tape, and it was about an hour and 40 minutes into it. I'm nothing but night sounds, and then that happened. But the funny thing was, what I haven't told you yet, is that when I went to retrieve it that morning, I found it laying on the ground, and it was upside down. Oh, it could have slipped off, sure. But an animal could have pushed it off, possibly, I don't know. But all I know is, is that I placed it right smack in the middle of the crypt itself, and it was about four and a half, maybe five feet off the ground. They had a flat top. We have no earthquakes in Iowa. And I can't explain it. I really can't. I thought maybe a squirrel, maybe a raccoon. But, you know, there was mud around the place. And usually a raccoon or a squirrel, any animal would have left um, telltale footprint signs, you know, uh, on it or near it. Nothing. Could have been a bird. Possibly. But I'm sure I would have heard that. But also in the tape recording, you hear the man say, 
you know, what is this? And you hear the woman say, you know, what she said. And then you hear the sound of it. It sounded like it was batted off of the crypt and hitting the ground. Anyways, that's my true ghost story. Tune in later for another one. Thank you.